solutions. This is not making the run forward. This is Washington, and he's offside. Well offside that time. Good coordinated effort by the defenders. They're individually, the Rochester defenders are excellent. Steenkamp and Schweitzer are just two top flight veterans. But having not played together, Steenkamp had played in front of the defense in the first match. Not playing together is a problem. You need that communication in a team sport like soccer. Sean McDonald is going to make his fourth substitution of the night. Ronnie Amaguana is going to enter this match. Replacing Richard Mahoney. Rather, he's going to replace Amisi Amani Duff. And this man coming off gets a well-deserved rest and round of applause. Made the goals both times. Scored at the first one, assisted on the second one. His best match of the year by far. The fourth official put up number 20 for Mahoney, but Monty Dove certainly knew his night had ended. Well done with the goal scored. Giving Virginia Beach the all-important 1-0 lead back in the 51st minute. Make no mistake, though, it's really been the Mariners' half, and it's been their night. Rochester just trying to pull one back in the 76th minute. I like that that time. Mitchell going at the goal, doesn't get the shot off, but disrupts the defense, and now his team has a throw in, a chance to get it in. Roka battling, can't win it. So the camp does, now Schweitzer. Roka. I'll get this time. Schweitzer. Rochester uncharacteristically looking like they're playing a bit of hit and hope at the moment, Richard. Just not their game. They're such a beautifully organized team, such crisp passing normally. And that's really what we saw is I thought they dominated a good portion of the first half. They did, but they don't have the capacity to stretch the defense through speed like Virginia Beach does, and that's really been the difference of the game here. Virginia Beach seeing that Rochester's unfamiliar, a little unsettled, a little uncomfortable with each other in the back, really has exploited it. This portion of the match is brought to you by Umbro, only soccer since 1924. Roca looking to take the restart quickly. Some confusion. No confusion, actually, by Billick. He wanted to make sure they didn't take that restart quickly. It was interesting. You saw him and Mahoney went up, and Billick, who's about 5'7", won the header. I thought the foul was Mahoney fouling Billick, but they give it to Rochester. Sedgwick. Roca. Nice return for Sedgwick to the byline. Beautifully done that time by Kevin Knott. Brooks can't win that. Steen Camp does. Clever by Steenkamp for Roca. Again with Knott. Daniel Alvarez, the substitute here in the second half. Forward by Mahoney. Dante Washington can't run that down. Mauricio Roca's been in this game for about seven or eight minutes now, and he's made two really good passes into the defense. He's a superb passer of the ball. Tamox Suarez. It's Roland Aguilera. Oh, that's nicely done for Miller. Dummy, back to Suarez. Hayes had the cross. That was deflected. That will go out for the Rochester throw. Sean, there are only 12 minutes to go in this game. We're starting to see Rochester get, getting a little more constructive attack, and Virginia Beach can't just sit back. Rochester has some good players, and a player like Roca can really probe a defense. Virginia Bay Beach cannot become complacent. They've got to get a handle on the ball and not let Rochester keep possession this long. Roca. Schweitzer. Thought about loading up the right foot. Roca. Indication for the goal kick. Roca doing a lot of running, trying to create. 
Just not finding the coordination, perhaps. Extraordinarily creative player. I remember when he played at UConn, I think he's one of the finalists for the Herman Award his senior year. He played on that national championship team at the University of Connecticut. He is a gifted player with the ball. The defensive end is not his forte, but attacking, he is very, very dangerous. If he can get players up front making the good runs for him, he will find them. In the 88th minute, with Richard Broad, I'm Sean Wheelock. Glad you're with us watching USL Soccer. This is the A-League match of the week on Fox Sports World. You see the scoreline top of your screen. Virginia Beach at home at the Sportsplex, leading the Rochester Raging Rhinos 2-0. Amici Amani Dove in the 51st minute. Dante Washington, his fourth of the year in the 62nd. Alvarez. Now Brooks. This is all of that speed. Crossing Washington, trying for the spectacular, couldn't pull it off. Rochester looking to counter attack. Snuffed out immediately by the Mariners. You can just see their confidence growing through this match. Sedgwick. Ian Fuller. Wilson. Again, the hit and hope by Rochester, and easy for Joe Larson. Sean, there's just no substitute for pure, raw speed. And, and I'm looking out here watching Ian Fuller had a good first half. And I think he's, he's just been run ragged in his first full match game. He, he's just struggling to keep up, and, and they just put so much pressure on you defensively with Brooks and Lassiter and, and Dante Washington and Amani Dove. It's just a handful. Aguilera had Alvarez in support. Instead switches for Washington, who's offside. And there's the other dimension, the attack with Aguilera, who can really serve a good ball. And if once Sean McDonald integrates him into the attack, they can play a possession style through Aguilera or stretch the defense up top to Lasseter, Brooks, and Washington. Mitchell from Schweitzer. He's tackled from behind. And Mitchell stays down on the field. There's our fourth booking of the night for that foul tackle. Definitely a foul. Very, very nasty, almost professional foul. Yeah, oh, coming in could have really caused a serious injury uh, that particular time as um, it was Alvarez coming in and just got off the, the bench and eager to put a stamp on the game. That's not the way to do it. Alvarez officially booked in the 82nd minute. It's tough to be on the bench that length of time and come on, you want to make an impression, but you've got to be a bit more discreet. This could have been a very, very serious injury coming in with two cleats up and the referee doing absolutely the right thing to award a yellow card. I think the use of the cards, I think there have been four, Sean, uh, been exactly right. Very well controlled, officiated match. Mitchell limps off but stays in this match. Rochester from the restart. Brooks wins this for the Mariners and he'll launch the counter attack and Washington was hanging on that halfway line. And again, a collision. This time, this is Sedgwick along with Brooks. Sedgwick getting up, Brooks stays down. This has really been a beautifully played match. Daniel Burke, the referee, has done a nice job and does not want to see things get out of hand now in the dying minutes of this match. frustration coming out and a player like Gary Brooks who has all that speed uh, again he's going to put pressure on the defense and sometimes guys make chippy fouls that can come in uh, after the play didn't get a real good look at it but but a, a hard hard collision and this is the time at the end of the game you get a better shot there but uh, both came in about the same time nothing malicious but at the end of the game your timing gets a little bit off and you're defending, you defended all day against Lassiter and Washington and, and Amani Dove and, and Brooks, who just is just a jet. I mean, he just runs like the wind comes on and it's hard to keep that up. It's a, a, a real element that Virginia Beach did not have in the past, something Patrick Coley's team has had a lot of trouble contending with tonight. Brooks has to wait to be signaled in by the referee. He stands by the fourth official, so Virginia Beach playing a man down for a moment. Brooks now re-enters. 
No worries, back for Andraki. Final, Charleston, the battery, an impressive 1-0 victory tonight over Charlotte. And Indiana has pulled two back unanswered. They now lead 2-1 over El Paso. 2-0 is our score here. Virginia Beach leading Rochester. For scores and news of the United Soccer Leagues, go online to uslsoccer.com anytime, day or night. Again, that's your home for USL soccer, including the A-League. Sedgwick. Challenge with Brooks. Sedgwick goes down, and he'll win the throw. Long evening for Sedgwick, and Brooks recovering from nowhere to, uh, to knock that ball away. It does go out of bounds off Brooks, but how about his speed? End of the game, it just... The tired legs on the other side and fresh legs on Brooks. He can really be a factor. Roca. Oh, that's a nice ball. Mitchell, the substitute crossing, cut out immediately, making no mistake was Kevin Knott. If Rochester is to have any chance at this match and penetrate the, the defense of Kevin Knott and his partners, they've got to get the ball to Roca's foot. He is a superb passer of the ball. Three times he's put players in positions and they just haven't made enough of it. Roca will hit the outswinger. Short and low, didn't get through. Now Brooks launches the counter attack. This is a 3v3 if the Mariners hurry. Said Aguilera is going to slow it down. Beautiful ball on the switch. Alvarez is in and he's on side against the keeper. 3-0. Game, set, match, Virginia Beach. Start up the bust. This one's over. Very, very impressive. <laughs> Sean McDonald can relax on this one and think about the next one as lethal finishing by Alvarez, but a tremendous counterattack against a tired Rochester defense. The ball was one out to, to Brooks. He switched the play to the other side and a terrific cross at Alvarez is wide open. He could have actually played that ball off to Dante Washington, decided to take it himself. Why not finish it? No chance for Andraki, who's had a really good game despite giving up three goals. Nothing he could have done about any of the three. I mentioned that Andraki was hung out to dry on the opening goal. That was the Washington dummy to Amici Amani Dove, completely hung out to dry there. Daniel Alvarez beating the offside trap alone against the keeper. Very, very cool on the finish, Richard. Really, really terrific. The ball springs Alvarez wide open. I mean, he just has acres of space all day. Size it up, take a picture, and beat Andraki low. Might have even put it through the legs. Andraki just hopeless on that. The speed is what has just absolutely broken down Rochester. First of the campaign for Daniel Alvarez coming in the 86th minute. Can you see the collision in the fifth booking as the yellow card again shown? Such a clean match and now it's really gotten rough and certainly Rochester has to be frustrated by this scoreline. Considering that they had a very good quality of the possession in the first half and had their chances in the first half as well. And they have a good quality team, but it's so hard to get it, get yourselves together early on in a match. And, and it's just, they'll, they'll be back. back. Pat or Cur or Curley is such a good coach and it's such a good franchise. They have personnel, but when you lose one or two players, even as deep as they are, the lack of understanding, it's Virginia Beach's fourth game, Rochester's second. That has to enter into the result. Aguilera was the man who was down, staying in this match. You know he wants to finish. He's on the ball now. Roland Aguilera. Can't get it through for Brooks. Here's Billick with a go. Why not? He's done everything else for him. He's entitled to take a shot, too. That young man is a vastly underrated player. As I said, he's only been here four days with his team in training. He, he just does the things that make other players better. Rochester has to play on the road at Atlanta in two days on Sunday. And then a week from tomorrow, May the 17th, they're home back at Frontier Field as they host the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Virginia Beach, meanwhile, the schedule early on is really favoring them as they're an informed side. 
four successive home matches. Rochester, this match tonight, then Charleston, Montreal, and Toronto before finally going on the road May 31st against Charlotte. So a chance to get a lot of points early. If they hold on to this victory, which seems like a foregone conclusion, they'll have half of their win total of last year. No worries for Larson. You know he's thinking about the shutout. 90th minute. And this result is well in hand, and I think Larson can be very confident of the shutout. Rochester not able to penetrate a really well-organized Virginia Beach defense. This is a far different product that Virginia Beach is putting out this year than last. Aguilera crossing, looking for Brooks too strong. Brooks still hovering in the 18-yard box. Flicked on for Paco. Mahoney is there to win that nicely done. Tamox Suarez. Mitchell. Mitchell with an opportunity that time, but real good defending, coming back, uh, not back in there on the defensive end of that. Um, Dan Buskey, they've just all been so solid throughout the game. That was Alvarez who also helped out on that defensive play, the man that had scored the goal about four minutes before. Into stoppage time. Now we have the official indication we will have two minutes of stoppage time added. Could this be four as Brooks goes through and Drackey got a piece of it. Dante Washington looking for a second. Schweitzer steers that away from the post. Difficult angle for Washington, but Schweitzer didn't want to make a mistake. And now bad news for Rochester. It's in the first minute of second half stoppage time. Already down three goals to nil. Their keeper flat on his back. Bill Andraki is down, and he is in obvious pain. Didn't see what happened in that situation, Sean. Schweitzer went back to cut off Washington's shot at the near post. Andraki was scrambling to get back after he'd made the save.